Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Update. It is almost 10 o'clock on April the 12th. As we dealt with another wind and rain event overnight in the overnight period. Not as much rain, but there still was a lot of wind. And uh, actually, I'm going to start off with the wind reports uh, from the National Weather Service first. Uh, going over some of these winds that we had. Not so impressive off to the west, but Suffolk County. Nassau County only gusted to, well, 48 at Bayville, but... Uh, Suffolk County, all right, uh, this is where our JFK gusted to 53, but Suffolk County really got a lot more of the wind. Northport, 57 miles an hour. Orient, 57 miles an hour. Eaton's Neck, 54 miles an hour. Fire Island Coast Guard, 52 miles an hour for peak wind gusts. Uh, so, uh, oh, and Maritime Station, Row 10. Is that Connecticut? That must be in the Long Island Sound, 61 miles an hour uh so yeah some pretty strong winds Larchman harbor 57 miles an hour so we had some pretty strong wind gusts out there with the storm again the worst of it wound up hitting in the overnight some areas got a thunderstorm and some pretty significant thunderstorms we didn't get any um we're going to review the how this all uh, panned out in the radar uh when i rewind the radar uh let's look at the rainfall reports again some areas overperformed, 2.36 at, uh, at, at Shelton in Fairfield County, so Connecticut. Again, getting into some of the higher rainfall amounts. Uh, Waterbury, 2.04 inches. Um, and then as you go into New northern New Jersey, not as impressive, only, uh, uh, only an inch there in Franklin Lakes. Um, so New Jersey didn't get quite as much rain. Some areas in northern Jersey got 1.49 inches of rain. Nassau County, really not that much either, 0.75. This doesn't include the showers that hit later, though, so we'll have to... We had some showers that ha happened later in the af in the morning around noon, actually, late morning, noon hours. Um, you can see Suffolk County, Northport, 1.55, Fort Salonga, 1.50. Uh, so uh, the higher amounts generally seem to be in Connecticut and Suffolk County, um, and we'll have to look at New Jersey as well uh, when it comes to that. So uh, let's talk about those storms Last night, before we get to today's uh, weather, we're going to actually go to um, first. Actually, before I get started with that, talk about the storm damage. Restoration update. So uh, apparently there were uh, a number of customers that lost power last night on Long Island, 10,700, mainly on the north shore of Suffolk County. Um, you can see a picture of some of the damage here. Again, those high winds knocking down tree branches that are falling on the wires. Again, the ground saturated, so it's not, it, you know, some of the trees came down as well. Um, of course, nothing on News 12, Long Island, or should I say South Shore 12 about it. They're too busy with the South Shore. They didn't even cover it. I guess there wasn't much flooding there, so not even talking about that. All right, that's the storm right there. But let's let's go and take a look at the radar uh, from that storm yesterday. So uh, we're going to go and look at that. Um, radar rewind. We'll go ahead and look at that. Actually, before even, yeah, we'll do that first. All right, we'll do that first. All right, so let's go to Ventu Sky, and uh, we'll, we'll rewind the radar to this morning. All right, so you can see these pretty strong thunderstorms that developed over New Jersey. They went over the Jersey Shore around 3.30. They went through, they rolled through Tom's River around 3.30, um, and into, you know, through Ocean County. You can see some storms over Long Island, too. Um, and then that batch, there was another batch, another batch that formed over here. And this was the batch that got Suffolk County around uh, i would say six in the morning six thirty in the morning that batch went over uh and then that uh, and then there was another uh area of showers that developed that hit us in the uh in the uh early afternoon actually look like there might have actually been a thunderstorm with that as well look like there was a line that actually came through this area as well right around noon uh so actually i want to look at this on the earth cam so we're going to go to the earth cam and we're going to go to Seaside Heights, and actually I want to do Seaside Heights 2, so let's do Seaside Heights 2. I think it's Seaside Heights 2, uh, the one looking south. Hopefully I got the right one. Good. All right, so I'll show you what it was like last night in around 3.30 because it was pretty wild. Um, calm now, but uh, right around 3.30 when that storm hit, um, I'm going to find it here. It was over here. I'm going to find it. might have actually passed already. Yeah, this is the storm right here. Uh, there was some pretty decent lightning here with this. Yeah, there it is right there. Um, put the sound on. They got some pretty significant wind gusts with this storm too as well. It was around 320 that it rolled through, maybe 320 
around the Seaside Heights Palm River area. And see if we can catch some of the lightning out here because there's some pretty decent lightning with this. Um, you can hear the thunder too, too as well. If I find it, that would be good. But you can see here, really, uh, see how the rain's really coming down. This was a thunderstorm. This was a, this was a pretty intense thunderstorm. I would hit the uh, Jersey Shore right around 220. I'll rewind this back a little more. We're gonna go back a little more. I was rolling in right around the place. Feel the thunder. Some lightning for you. It's a pretty decent lightning, man. Of course now. I just want to show you this thunderstorm. I came in right there, right there. Right there, right around 319. I'm trying to be such a bus to go to the top here. See, look at how heavy it's coming down. Uh, again, this is Seaside Heights. Uh, but there were a couple of... I mean, the lightning wasn't frequent, but there was lightning. Or there was definitely a thunderstorm. Uh, I was watching it actually come through, but I didn't get the video. Yeah, there you go. That's close. That's close one. Thunderstorm. Very decent. Uh, so there you go. That's what it looked like. Those are the kind of the those are the areas that got hit with these storms. Then we'll go go also around noon and see if we can see what happened around noon because it looked like there was a line around noon, but I think it was further up. I don't think it hit um, the Jersey Shore. I think it was more like Atlantic Highlands that might have gotten hit. Let's see if we can see if we can take a look at that because that looked like a line over there too, right around twelve. So some areas got into it. Nassau County, we kind of just missed out on it. We didn't really get, um, yeah, you could see that. Yeah, you could definitely see what looks like a line. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at the sky get pretty dark right there. That could be a thunderstorm right there. Perhaps there was thunder and lightning with that, too. I don't think so. But definitely overnight we had the thunderstorm. So uh, well, anyway, enough of that. Let's yeah, we'll go back to the National Weather Service now. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at what's going on currently. Well, we'll look at back at our day, first of all. And, you know, we had um, we had a cloudy sky. And then the sun started breaking out in the afternoon. So we had these, you know, billowing, puffy clouds. You know, real, you could see the real uh, these clouds here. Uh, not the best pictures, but uh, these dark clouds. And then this was Argyle Lake, where the clouds had kind of come back. And then later on, the clouds broke up again. And by sunset, it was mostly sunny again uh, for a little bit. Uh, but there were some clouds on the horizon. You could see here on the horizon. And uh, that uh, that was pretty interesting because when we got to... Um, and somehow it's missing, of course. Yeah, here it is. Uh, when we got to uh, Rock, Rockfield Center, you could see these dark clouds on the horizon. And then, uh, yeah, look at that. That's That's a... Shower. It didn't quite reach the ground. There's a shower right there. You can see the, the. It didn't quite reach the ground. You can see again some of it, and maybe it did in some areas. And I thought we were going to get hit, but it was just a couple of drops in Rockville Center, and that was it. Just a little bit of a, of a sprinkle, and that's all there was. Um, that is all there was of it. Uh, so yeah, and you can see. Uh, and now we got the moon out tonight with some passing clouds. Uh, so. Well, anyway, showing you what the sky looked like tonight. Um, so let's take a look at what we got going on currently here, and uh, we'll go and look at the radar first, actually, because there's still some shower activity. In fact, quite a bit of it uh, over Pennsylvania. Look at this a lot. These look like some pretty hefty thunderstorms around State College, perhaps. We'll have to go look at the lightning detection for that. And then it looks like a stray shower, a thunderstorm right here over Tabernacle. We're still in this unstable air because we still got this upper-level low that is still circulating around. Uh, if we look at the weather map, you'll see there's that upper level low that we're stuck in. So see the high pressures built straight down to the south, but where the northeast is kind of stuck in this cyclonic circulation here, there's two warm fronts. <laughs> so it's not something you see all the time, but yeah, two warm fronts. 
Um, you can see those. So we have the cyclonic circulation, which means things are going to be a little more unsettled. It's still going to stay kind of unsettled for the next day or so, uh, which means the chance of a shower or maybe even a thunderstorm uh, out there. Um, you can see, yeah, looking at this, that definitely looks like it could be a thunderstorm, perhaps. I'm just going to go look at the lightning and see if we have anything, any lightning coming out of these here. Um, we'll see. It doesn't look like it, so it's just showers, I guess, no lightning. It's mostly low-topped, as you saw in the pictures there. It's mostly low-topped convection, but you never know. There could be always be a thunderstorm, perhaps, you know, in the mix. Um looking at the weather and hazards map let's see we've got uh wind advisory still posted for a lot of the great lakes area and that looks like a high wind warning for along the lakes right there so there's still some wind uh that's that we have to deal with yeah still dealing with the, some 43 mile an hour gusts there's the temperatures are cooler there we're kind of in a warm pocket of air the temperatures are going to drop but today wound up being pretty warm so we'll go ahead and look at what the day was like at islip Right now, 53, the dew point of 46. And light rain is actually being reported over there at Islip as a result of that that shower that somehow bypassed us here in Nassau. Um, so you can see some light rain. Still southwest winds. And today we got up into the low 60s. You can see the, actually maybe even mid-60s. Hit 63 in the afternoon. And the sun started peaking out and destabilizing. Thing That also caused the winds to pick up. Uh, gusting again up to 37 and you can see looking at the overnight and there's that second batch of showers that came in around uh, yeah, there's that second batch of showers that came th in in the early afternoon uh, and then the worst of that again with the worst of the storminess was when those storms hit Suffolk County again you can see some strong wind gusts right around when those storms are were hitting there no thunderstorm being reported though at Islip with that I don't see any thunderstorm actually being reported there's some heavy rain around three as well but I don't see an actual thunderstorm being reported here. Oh, wait. Never mind. There was thunder reported at 56 at Islip. So, unfortunately, I didn't see anything here. Uh, it looked like the thunderstorms bypassed us. Um, but uh, some areas really did get into it quite a bit. Uh, so let's go to look at our high temperatures. And high temperatures made it to the mid-60s pretty much everywhere. And look at that. Wow. Ocean County got close to 70, 67 in Tom's River. There's even a 69 there. Always warmer there. Uh, 70 down by Atlantic City. Yeah, Atlantic City Airport got up to 70. So I had a little more sun. And like I said, it wasn't that cool today. It was pretty warm because uh, we still have the southwest flow. The lows, uh, do we really need to even look at the low temperatures because there's not much of a difference here. The lows were in the 50s. We're well above normal today. Let's go look at the rainfall amounts. So we'll go look at the rainfall amounts. And I guess we'll pick the 36-hour rainfall amounts. And take a look and see how much rain fell in the 36 hours. It's not actually not much in Ocean County. Uh, a half an inch, less than a half an inch. Um, again, it all depends on who got the thunderstorms and who didn't, you know. They did get those thunderstorms in the overnight, but that was it. I mean, other than that, um, looks like we got more of an over-inch, you know, inch-plus amounts more in central and northern New Jersey. And then looking at Long Island, uh, generally speaking, a half an inch to um as we head into suffolk county then it goes to an inch or greater um and then we are in connecticut we have over an inch and you can see there are some flood warnings posted yeah some of these areas in eastern connecticut uh two inches plus it's not going to be good for the rivers it's going to cause yet more flooding uh we've got a uh get a gale warning still in effect until 6 a.m or maybe not 6 a.m till 6 a.m saturday 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Saturday. So it looks like there will be a gale warning because the winds are going to be picking up again. Um, so let's go look at uh, what our, our our climate records are for today. And uh, we see high of 62 and a low of 54. That puts us 10 degrees above normal for the day. Um, yeah, quite above normal. And 0.37 inches of rain recorded at Islip. Um, I'm sure that number is going to be a little bit higher uh, when they come to have the later report, and that was the afternoon report. Uh, but definitely, a, a, and again, month to date, 2.86 inches, that's going to be going up with the rain. Central Park uh, up to 3.22. Um, and um, let's go and look at the highs and lows there. High of 62, low of 57 
8 degrees above normal for the day. The high was not that much above normal. Normal highs are now around 60 degrees, but the low, we didn't drop that much. So that's why it stayed kind of, you know, back to being above normal again. Uh, so let's look at our satellite here. And you'll see, again, that circulation from that upper level low. We kind of have to go to the conus to really appreciate the how, the size of this thing. I'll do the eastern half. We'll do the eastern half. Eastern U.S. is an eastern U.S. one, right? We got U.S. Atlantic Coast. I don't really have an eastern U.S. one. I thought there was an eastern U.S. one. I'm thinking of the models. That's what it is. All right. Look at this uh, circulation here from this huge storm. Another big storm again uh, that is uh, moving up into the Great Lakes and taking its time. And now we're going to be in this cyclonic flow, which is going to keep things unsettled. It looks like I see a whole bunch of wildfire smoke breaking out over uh, Kansas again. So it looks like we do have some fires going in Kansas right now again, surprisingly. I thought they got some rain there, but again, it just, it just fires just keep flaring up. All right, so we'll go look at the, um, I guess, Southern Plains. This will be a Southern Plains. It may not be. It may not be the right one. That's not the right one either. I mean, they have Northern Plains. I guess we do Northern Plains. This one maybe Rockies. I don't. I don't have one for that area. Yeah, I wanted to look at that because it looked like wildfire smoke. Um, it's not the Rockies. It's the Plains. I don't seem to have one for the Northern Plains. Just the Southern Plains. That sucks. You think they would because. Well, we go to the modus instead. Hopefully the modus will show up these fires, hopefully. So it looked like there was a bunch of fires breaking out in Kansas. Yeah, it's not showing up in here. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can sort of see it. So, yeah, we got a lot of uh, wildfires here. Mostly grass fires breaking out in Kansas, looks like. So, yeah, there may be some smoke. Uh, that might get caught up in the circulation that we might have to deal with if these fires continue to burn the way they are. I just wish I could get a better satellite image of it because it would really look better that way. But they don't really have... I don't have one for that area. They got northern Rockies, southern Rockies, which isn't going to work. It's too far to the west. <laughs> it's too far to the west. Don't really have. They don't have. <laughs> well, I guess Mississippi Valley would have to do. It's in the corner, but yeah. Let's just see. Just show you those fires breaking out again. There's Oklahoma, there's Kansas. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh yeah. So I'll have to watch out for that. You know we're gonna be dealing with wildfire smoke again, right? Yeah. All right, so looking at the weekend, and I'll just cover the weekend here. This low is going to just hang around and keep us on a cyclonic flow, keeping more clouds around and the wind. Notice those isobars being tight. We're still going to deal with the wind. And then as we get into Sunday, we'll see a little more ridging before this next low-pressure area comes in uh, and brings more rain chances later into Sunday evening uh, with this. But you can see that broad cyclonic flow. Uh, with that low. And that's going to keep things unsettled. So let's go first, start with the HRRR first. Uh, and um, that shower activity will die down tonight. Um, uh, but then it's going to fire back up again tomorrow, I think. In the, and you'll see that there's another little area of showers that might affect us in the early afternoon, perhaps. Um, and then after that, it's not showing much of anything. It just shows the gradient type from the wind. And then we got this next thing for Sunday, this little short wave here that's going to come in. 
And this could be a problem. And it could actually bring a shower or maybe even a thunderstorm uh, into the area. I mean, it's, it looks like it's coming right around noon now. I mean, it looked like Sunday we were going to have a, a sunny day. And now it looks like this, this short wave is going to come in and bring another damn shower chance. Uh, because we have this, I mean, yeah, this is like a little low pressure area here. So a little short wave coming in. Uh, Sunday uh, originally looked like it was going to be a mostly sunny day, uh, but now I don't know. I'm not so sure with that shower coming in. It'll be it'll be a quick thing, but um, this is showing some shower activity here with that short wave again. Uh, and then there's another front. This looks like a cold front, and there could be some thunderstorms with that. That'll be later Sunday. This is the H triple R model. Uh, I will of course look at the others. Um, Let's look at the dew point in wind flow. So we, uh, as we get into tomorrow, you know, the dew points do drop. We go into more of a westerly flow. The air is drier, but we still got that instability in place. And then we stick with the westerly winds. They turn southwesterly on Sunday to southerly, and that brings in, yep, yeah, there's some moisture. So that could help feed in some of the rain. <sighs> Here we go again. Uh, so uh, let's look at our air temperatures. Uh, and tonight, probably going to drop maybe to upper 40s and tomorrow. A lot warmer in New Jersey versus Long Island because I think maybe there'll be a little more sun in New Jersey perhaps uh, versus Long Island, which will only be probably in the 50s. Um, and then as we go into it'll cool down tomorrow night, Saturday night, probably upper 30s, low 40s. And then Sunday, it's even way, it's way warmer in Jersey than it is on Long Island because of that southerly flow. You're going to soar to the 70s in Jersey. Long Island will probably be, depending on where you are, if you're in Nassau County, um, you might hit the 60s maybe and might still hit 70 in Mineola. The further east you are, the cooler you will be in the 50s. Definitely toward the south shore, it'll be cooler. Um, but, yeah, this is showing a lot of warmth. So that's there's no surprise where we're seeing those those precipitation chances um, So uh, for Sunday and Saturday. Um, let's go look at the... Uh, Sounding, yeah, plenty of clouds for tomorrow. And I think Jersey's going to be the same deal. Yeah, plenty of clouds for tomorrow. And then Sunday, if I go 14, Z, it'll show. If you're in Jersey, let's see if we can get one. Uh, a little more sun, but still, this is pretty saturated all in all. Uh, so, yeah, not as much sun this weekend as I was hoping. Um, it looks like we're going to have a lot of clouds around for both days with these uh, with all this moisture in the air uh so um let's look at some of the other models here we'll go to the nam next nam3 and we don't have enough of the zero z nam3 and so i'm going to go back to the 18 z nam3 and we're going to take a look at the radar simulation as we go into tomorrow so you see that stuff die off it still has a couple of showers in the morning perhaps so just unstable, and then it has this rain area of rain that comes in in the early afternoon around this damn cyclonic flow. So they may still be, yeah, I know, you're just going to have to keep your eyes out for, uh, you know, a stray shower. And then Sunday, again, starting off nice, but then we got these showers coming in. Uh, the NAM seems to have it weaken and just hit Long Island, uh, whereas the R seems to bring it further to the south. Um uh, but we just have like a, a shower, maybe a chance for a shower in the afternoon. And then this line comes in. Uh, it could bring some thunderstorm activity as we get into the evening. Uh, this, this this front coming through. Uh, you can call it a cold front, but the air behind it isn't really going to be all that cold. Uh, but still, it stays, you know, kind of unsettled this weekend. It's not it's not great. Uh, and when it comes to, you know, cloud cover... I'll, I'll use the NAM model first because we're here at the NAM model first. Showing you plenty of clouds for tomorrow, obviously. Um, and then yeah, it'll clear out in the overnight. But then here we go Sunday. More clouds coming into the picture again. Middle of the day. And then maybe there's a break in the afternoon before more clouds come in with that front. So, yeah. You know, unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to see any mostly sunny days this weekend. It looked like we were. It looked like Sunday was going to be a decent day. But you see plenty of clouds for tomorrow. There may be some breaks of blue. And then here we go, Sunday. Maybe some sun in the morning before the clouds come in uh, with this next short wave. Uh, so uh, we'd have to wait until possibly Monday before we can finally clear the sky out, perhaps. So, yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. It's just been so damn cloudy and rainy. And, you know, and unfortunately, every day, we are, it's not like it's going to rain all day, but... 
you just got to pay attention because uh, if you get caught out in it, you're going to get wet. So uh, just, you know, if you pay attention to the radar. There could be, a, again, scotch. Chances for showers both days. So, you know, trying to get a, a, a period that's going to completely dry has been very hard since, uh, you know, the past couple of months. And that, that freaking pattern continues, unfortunately. So that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. We'll have, I usually take Saturday night off, but I will be here because we may have to deal with some weather for tomorrow as far as showers go. So I'll have to talk about that. So, yep, it sucks. What can I tell you? You know, um, if you want clear skies, well, let's see what we have in Flagstaff. I'm sure the weather there is absolutely beautiful right now. Let's take a look at there. Yeah, look at that. Sunny every day, 62, sunny 58. Only one day with a chance of precipitation on Monday, and then every other day is sunny. So this is, if you want the sunshine, that's where you got to go because we're just stuck in the clouds and wet misery here, as we always are here, and I'm sick of it, as most of you are. And, yeah, you can see, yeah, there's some more showers here, some more shower activity. So, again, gotta, you know, just there's no escaping the rain. Um, anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good night.